This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. Same thing with Step and Fetch It. And Step and Fetch It made more money than anybody in Hollywood at the time. There wasn't a white movie came out that made more money than Step and Fetch It's movies. Wow. You know what I learned about him is the fact that he was an intellectual. I know he used to write for the Chicago Defender. Mm hmm. He was a very brilliant guy. Yeah, and he was the number one pimp in L.A. All right, I didn't know that. <laughs> he had oh, wow. a thousand white women in the street and couldn't nobody fuck with him. That's how powerful he was, including white cops. That's definitely wow. He had him a hundred Bentleys, okay? Wow, that's amazing. And he'd be the whole down in the street, man, and would nobody touch him. Wow. See, I, I need to put that out the guy got a friend. He's a he's an advocate for Step and Fetch It. He thought that the NAPT was wrong and how they derailed his film career. How they just talked to him, uh, you know, in terms of him being a bad stereotype for black people. And he, he said he was mad at them? Well, no, he was like, like my friend, he's a big Step and Fetch It uh, fan. No, and I he, said, and who was mad at them? Oh, the NAPT. They, 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 uh, they, the Hollywood grant. I, I said, was, who was mad at the NAACP? Oh, no, I, I ain't say it. Uh, he wasn't mad. I didn't say nobody was mad. I'm sorry. I didn't say that. I didn't meant to say that. I meant to say that the NAACP uh, boycotted his career on eight, so they uh, went out their way to try to you know, steal his career. Like the well, his well career. But, but, and, he, and, and he didn't come out and hit him with the spin gun awards named after a white boy? Mm. Huh? That's, a, That's what ignorance will do for your ass. Mm. Spengal named after the white boy who was president and invented the NAACP. Mm. A lot of folks didn't know that. I know I talked to some people recently. I mean, black people, we don't. It's like when I went to Selma, I had talked, I had interviewed some uh, older black people. Uh, they didn't, they wasn't even aware of Selma until the movie came out. Mm-hmm. And so I'm saying, like, how can I blame the young people when a lot of the elders don't know or a lot of the elders don't share what they know? Hey, man, that's, that was, that was, that, that's who we were. See, everybody forget. Mm -hmm. We came out of slavery. And wasn't nobody there to wash our feet and wash all that shit off of us? Yes, sir. So, wait, let me hit the bed, man. Oh, Bob Greg, I thank you so much. You take care thank of yourself. Much. Okay. Yeah, be right here. Yes, Good sir. Good. All right.